Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia and today we're going to be doing our monthly and dashboard setup for the month of May. So I have my kit here. This is for May. This is a design one. I have the monthly, the dashboard. Okay, I need to go grab the, the date tops real quick. I have the nun spent, color one, color two, color three, and color four. I don't have the bill dues since I don't use those. Okay, so I have my date dots. Now let's go ahead and get started. I have a, my Erin Condren monthly planner. This is in the seven by nine size. Still have not changed the cover yet, but this is in the color blends design. And I also do have my savings tracker set up, variable and budget income um, set up with you guys as well in the separate videos. And I did use the second design for those. Now let's go ahead and get started. So today is Wednesday. I wanted to film this video earlier in the week, especially yesterday. I wanted to just knock it out, but yesterday I was just having a problem. My brain was just not functioning the way that it's supposed to. If you guys have watched my week four check-in or my results video, you guys would have seen all of the mistakes I was making. But yeah, so I figured I might as well just try to film this video a different day. And I feel better, though still not as rested as I would hope to be. I definitely do feel better. I have a um I have something delivering today. It's gonna it's gonna be like little cards and stuff that's delivering today, so I'm really excited about that. And I most likely am going to try to get that on like a little short to put up most likely on TikTok today, and then I'm probably gonna post that one on Friday for Instagram. I'm, I'm really trying hard to keep up with content. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these thin washes at the bottom. I'm gonna do what I usually do. There's two different options. So if you want to use the one that matches or like the, the other design, you can line the bottom with it. But I personally have been liking the look of using the matching one and then the other design on the side. So that's what we're just going to continue to do. I have something else delivering today, so I can't wait to be able to sneak that. Most likely... I honestly don't know when. I have a problem with patience. I don't have patience, so I most likely will be showing you guys soon. Alright, and then we have this last side. How did I... Alright. A part of me kind of regrets not using this design throughout the whole entire month of May because I was looking at April again and I really do like that it was so cohesive with the same design throughout the month. So I think I might do that for June. Will I though? Because I really like both designs for June as well. Ah oh, man. Decisions, decisions. Okay, so should I lay this one this way or this way? Let's do this way. And I know for this one, I have to like put it kind of in the center because this is not size to be put on the side like this. So I just like to try to put it and center it a little bit. Okay, so that looks like it's kind of centered or as centered as gonna get. Oh, wait a second, that was actually a really good job. Okay, so we have this one down. I haven't really been using the second strip, so that sheet is actually officially done. So let's lay down these date dots. These date dots, I do have the payday scripts that I will use. So for paydays, we have, this is May, so it's gonna be the 5th, the 10th, the 19th, and the 31st. That is that green color. Let's put that in here. So starting from the 5th, so we get paid essentially every week because since me and my husband's pay cycles are on opposite weeks. Okay, and I believe for the month of June or the month of July, we have, one of us has three paychecks, which is really nice. So I probably won't end up using the payday scripts. Okay, so that looks good. And then I also have two different colors. So essentially this one line down here has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Just to cover the days that are not in the month with that other color. Of course, there's like that extra strip too from the sheet. So if you want to use this to cover the days not in the month instead, that's also another option. 
I like to use these dots down here. All right, so the day dots are now down. This is how it's looking. It's looking very, very pretty. So these are the remaining dots. There are some blank dots here if you wanted to use for like something else. But let's go ahead and put in our key. We have our dashboard sheet and I did start incorporating like a little key script on here. If you guys did want to use it, I really like incorporating this. And then we have our colors. So I do need to look for two additional colors. So I have all of like my older colors in here from previous months. And then I do have like my traditional colors that are in the shop currently. I don't have all of them. I have 12 different colors, but these are the pre the old size sheets. The new sizes are now all universal to this sheet as well. I still have yet to update the listing image, however, but let's choose some colors that will look nice. I really like this green, so I want to use this green again. I think that goes well. And like I really love this purple color that we used last month. But I don't know if that matches the most. Maybe like a yellow. How about this paler? Oh wait, there's already a yellow in here. So let's do I really like this green. I think this matches really nice. This is from February's design one. May's Design 2 has this like really pretty bread color, but I don't have any currently print and cut right now, so I can't use that one. So maybe like we'll just do the yellow instead. Let's just use this yellow color because I don't want to continue sifting through all the different colors. Okay, so this yellow color is from March's Design 2. This is color 1. And then this one is from February's Design 1. This is color 2. So since this one's so bright and noticeable, I'm going to use this one as the unbudgeted one and then the rest of these I'll use for like all the other colors. Okay, so I decided to switch out this February color for the periwinkle color. This is just like a color that I have in the shop. Do I actually have the older sheet to use? I do. Let's actually just use the smaller sheet just so I can get this and be done with it and then we'll do these colors. I feel like this looks a little bit more summery. So now we know this one's going to be unbudgeted. Let's pick the other colors. Let's do let's do this one as gas. This one as pups and baby. We'll have this one as allowance, groceries, and eating out. All right, so I have all my colors now written down. So they're each designated towards a different category. And where I got these categories from is when we set up our budget together, these are kind of like the cash envelopes. If we were to use cash, like the different categories for the day-to-day -day for eating out, groceries, gas, allowance, pups. The only one that's not in this is unbudgeted. This is actually a sinking fund. I don't have that spread set up yet, but I do like to just have the, the unbudgeted ones in my overview so I can quickly gauge and see if there was any unbudgeted expenses and what day and kind of just to track any patterns if we do have constant unbudgeted or unexpected amounts. Yeah, so let's lay down these little trackers on the sidebar so we have our key ready to go since every month we do change the color now. It's just easy to be able to see what the different new key is and the new categories. And I am so excited for the coming months because like things are coming and I'm, I'm going to be changing some things, especially because like I feel like my brain power is just like slowly decreasing. <laughs> so I think um, I want to show you guys how I would go about doing like an easier simplified budget. Um, especially because like if hopefully if we're lucky enough to be able to have another baby I'm gonna be having crazy crazy baby brain I'm gonna be like a brain fart honestly so that's how I'm gonna be budgeting and I think I want to show you guys how I do that before that happens just so like I don't miss anything and it's easier for myself to be able to um, explain how I do it but yeah, that's going to be one of the things and I will also be utilizing cash next month for June 
since I did ask you guys if you guys wanted to see how that goes in a hybrid system for cash and um, electronic. And uh, I was, <laughs> honestly, I didn't think anybody was going to answer, but I was very surprised that a good amount of you guys did. So thank you. It made me very excited. Um, but yeah, okay. So we have our key on the side. Let's use one of these stickers to indicate our none spent as well. I think I want to do blue. So we'll do that so we can write down how many none spent we have. I also, speaking of that, I forgot to write down how many we ended with for April. I also didn't even put these on camera with you guys. So I do apologize for that. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 15 none spent. Alright, so May we have none spent. And then we also have save up, bully. And then again, I forgot to write how much we're saving for Saveopoly for the month of April. So let's actually write that down. It is $192. So we'll do this together when we do our pre-preparations for May, which should be a video coming next week sometime. Okay, so our May monthly view looks really good. Now let's go ahead and do the dashboard. I love laying down the dashboard just to see how it turns out. And you guys already know, I kind of like, it's this dashboard page is like, um, how it's set up is you can kind of do what you want with it and set it up how or what will suit you guys best. But you guys already know, like, I definitely am a creature of habit and I, ever since I started doing it the one way, I don't think I've changed it at all. So I'm just going to be setting it up the same way that I usually do with where the stickers go. I might be changing it up ever so slightly in a future month because I do want to start tracking all the different credit card reporters like Experian, TransUnion, and I forgot what the other one was called, but I do want to start tracking all of them for the credit score because they do always vary in each reporter. You just I just want to make sure that they all look good. So I always use the thicker one. I think I want to use this this design for the box. So, so we'll leave that and I'll use this pattern on the top. Do I like that? I can always switch it. I think I think I'm happy with that. I think that's okay. All right, and I like to put this thinner piece at the very bottom there are three different size strips so the, the one up here is the largest we have like the second largest and the thinnest on the side and then i do eventually want to start putting numbers in here with you guys too for the numbers that we track because i realize that like my company still has yet to do like the whole match for 401k which is like crazy i guess the only good news is that the health insurance is really good considering how health insurance like if we were to pay for a whole family and not get it through an employer is like a thousand or something dollars which is completely wild to me okay sorry i'm getting sidetracked right now but i want to put this one up here i always get these two mixed up for whatever reason but that means these ones go at the bottom this is just what i prefer again there is no like right or wrong this is just what i like to do and then this last thinnest one because i like that these two line up the two thinnest ones at the bottom like this one and this one and this one will go at the top but i am going to line it again because if i put this like this i think it covers oh no it doesn't what Oh, I feel like one of the months when I did this, it covered some of the the thing, but maybe not. Okay, never mind. So let's just do what we always do. I have the strips, so I like to line things. Our baby is awake and she is sitting on my husband's lap right next to me and she's just curious as to what I'm doing. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. 
this looks good. You guys know I have been trying, trying, not succeeding, but definitely trying to film a um, day in the life type of video. It's just not going well, so I'm going to continue trying to focus on doing a better job at like reels and shorts and stuff. And then hopefully as I get more and more comfortable, I'm going to try to do a day in life. I just feel like I'm just so awkward. I just recently started becoming a little bit more okay with talking more and being more open and stuff on camera. Even though, even though you guys just see my, my hands and stuff. But I feel like once my face is there and I see my face and I'm just like, I just feel so awkward. <laughs> but okay, so we're going to do this last strip because I like to use this to mark our spendings and also our credit score. So I'm going to put this in the same area we usually do. Okay. So there's one and then we're going to do the other side. And I think this is the section that might change in the future. Just so I have a little bit more space, but we will see. Now we're let's lay down our, our other things. So we have upcoming we have this month and these are just the same ones I always use credit score goes down here habits important savings I like to do spendings so we have a recap of how much we spent per each category and then last but not least we have amounts this could be for like anything like whatever amount you guys want to track but for me i like to track our 401k and also our student loans and then i like to use these asterisks to mark both mine and my husband's credit score then these hearts for sure i like to use to cover these dots three four I absolutely love this print. I feel like it's so like spring summertime. But I really like how different the picnic one is because that's not normally something I would gravitate towards. And I just feel like sometimes choosing something different feels really good. But I'm not gonna lie, how this dashboard turned out is gorgeous. But this is the end of that dashboard page. Now, things are looking really, really pretty. Oh my god, these actually look really good right next to each other. Okay, I feel really happy. So, I need to mark the things that we have upcoming. So, unfortunately for me, I thought that our car insurance was supposed to come in April. So, I have it here for car insurance. So, car insurance is actually coming up in May. So, May, we also have Mother's Day, Memorial Day, Simba's birthday. Ah, Simba's birthday is this month, that's right. So I want to write those. I like to write holidays and bills coming up in upcoming. For this month, it's more so of like a notation of like things that happened or changed or unexpected things. Like kind of like a recap of the month for any financial important details I have to write in here. It's somewhat similar to like the notes area down here, but this is like in detailed, in depth, like a breakdown of it. But this is like a recap. So like I have two different areas I can refer to. That's kind of what I'm doing with this for, for now and it's been working out really well. But let's do car insurance. So we'll probably get the popsicle cookie or something like that. And then we have Mother's Day car insurance, other things that we might be spending funds on. Now let's go get the stickers from the back of the Erin Condren book like we've been usually doing and what colors will match this let's do this green and then let's use both of these greens is that too much green i mean it's i think it's fine so we'll use these greens to mark that for may so let's do We have two for each, one for my husband, one for me, and then one for my husband and one for me. 
for our totals for 401k and student loans. Student loans has not changed in like a minute, but I just still mark it here. So we have Un, that's what I call him in Vietnamese, but his 401k. M is what he calls me in Vietnamese. So we have both of our 401ks and both of our student loans. Yeah, that's actually really it for this video. I feel like this month was really short. I normally have like things to talk about, but I guess not. <laughs> so um, this one was really quick and sweet. Yeah, so that's really it for this setup video. I hope that you guys still enjoyed it, though there was not really a lot of things for me to catch you guys up on. Yeah, thank you guys so much as always for tuning in, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye!